Ever since Series 3 came out, Roaring Moon has been seeing less and less of the rank ladder every single day. I have not used Roaring Moon in Series 3. I believe I haven't used it yet in a Series 3 video. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Rocking out with more Roaring Moon in the Series 3 rank double ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to That's Plus One and his Patreon community for making this team and making it a rental code. Absolutely loving the design of this team. Cannot wait to use it and hopefully grab some wins for you guys on that rank ladder. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be in that top left hand corner. We got the one and only Chiyu over here. Beads of Ruin with that Assault Vest to make it a bit more bulkier on that special defensive side. It's got Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, and Psychic. War Moon, the star of the show, is going to be the second Pokemon with Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy. Acrobatics, Throat Chop, Protect, and Tailwind, loving this move set with the Flying Terror type. Third slot is going to be the Great Tusk. Great Tusk is just so strong. It is just so good all around. Giving it the Focus Hatch, which is a really good item for this Pokemon, allows him to guarantee at least one shot on the field. So I really do like this Pokemon. He's got Protosynthesis, the Focus Hatch, like we already mentioned, Headlong Rush, Close Combat, Protect, and Ice Spinner. Fourth slot is going to be Gyarados, and Gyarados is an all-time favorite of mine. Love its design, love its ability, love its typing. It's got Intimidate, Citrus Berry, Thunder Wave, Waterfall, Taunt, and Protect. So one stab hitting move, the other two are going to be Support, and then you got Protect. So really good Pokemon for Speed Control, taking out Support Pokemons with Taunt, and doing some big damage at the same time. This slot is going to be Fluttermane. Cannot have a Chiyu on your team without Fluttermane. The team is just not as good as it could be. Fluttermane... With Protosynthesis and the Choice Specs, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Power Gem paired up with the Chiyu, it's going to be taking out Pokemon left and right. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be the lovely little mushroom guy, Amoongus. Regenerator, Rocky Helmet, has Spore, Rage Powder, Palm Puff, and Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm could definitely throw, throw off some of your opponents and pick up some big time KOs with Amoongus. It's actually very satisfying when you pick up a KO with Amoongus because how often do you do that? Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, Rent's code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Roaring Moon Series 3 team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Corviknight and Gargonackle team. Angle and Moore, this is pretty much a nice little stall team. They also have Arcanine for attack and special attack chops. I think Lemore is just here to poison up. They also have Tinglu and Don Dozo as their final two Pokemon. How should we get after this one? How should we play it? I feel like we're going to have to get rid of Glamora turn one without allowing it to drop the toxic spikes, right? So Fluttermane might be that Pokemon to allow us to do that, right? Fluttermane hits pretty hard. I mean, Shadow Ball would be the only move to actually do some damage onto it. So I might just want to go Chiyu Fluttermane, right? I can kind of get down with Chiyu Fluttermane. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Chiyu Fluttermane getting off this lead. If he goes Ting Lu, they go Ting Lu. We can kind of just get after it with the fairy moves, but... It will be fine. I'm going to bring War Moon in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go Gyarados or do I go Great Tusk? Hmm. Great Tusk is going to be super effective onto the Gargonackle, onto the Arcanine, onto the, hmm, the Glamora as well. But Gyarados is also super effective onto all three of those. I do like Gyarados for Intimidate though. I really do like that. But at the same time, this is just tough. That's a tough choice. We also have Close Combat and we have one other move. What move was it? Was close combat and we have ice spinner okay so ice spinner's not bad super effective onto the ting lu and tusk is a bit faster i'm gonna go in with the tusk i am gonna bring in the big time tusk because i'm looking for a win here you guys know the deal match number ones we always look for big fat w to get the video started off strong so hopefully we can do that for you guys hopefully we can get ripping with this one and grab ourselves a dub but i wonder who they're gonna lead this seems like a glamora lead right glamora maybe ting lu that would be a pretty strong lead for them right and if they do do that i'm gonna be a little upset Lamora Arcanine. Okay, I can deal with Lamora Arcanine. They might hard swap into Tinglu at this point. Um, but I have to get rid of Glamora. I think I just double down into Glamora. I think that's my play all day. If they if they want to snarl me, they can snarl me. I think we just have to get rid of Glamora at this point. But I'm just gonna actually psychic this thing down and do I just power gem you? Or do I really double down to Glamora? Because this could be pretty good here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to hope that we can pick up a KO on one of them. I think we can one-shot maybe both of them with the special defense drop. We're just hoping they don't swap into Tinglu here. I mean, if they swap into Tinglu, that's kind of fine, but we just really don't want to allow them to set up the Toxic Spikes and just have Poison on the field for the whole turn. But he's probably Mortal Spinning this turn. It's definitely a high likelihood, right? That's why I was going to double down into it, but Power Gem's just nice with the Choice Specs. Like, look at that. Look at that damage. Did, was that Free Sash? 
free focus sash? What you mean? The free sash. I was expecting a big time KO. Free focus sash comes out of here. Psyche Sauce is going to fly here. How much damage are we doing on this Pokemon? Is that also focus sash? What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Free focus sash and an actual focus sash. So we opt to go for the power gem. I don't mind that. We can soak that up. We got the assault vest. And a flare blitz is going to fire. You're going to double down into, into you right there. Okay, so I am now choosing the power gem. I'm kind of cool with this. I am definitely cool with this. I am definitely cool with this. We got speed. We're taking over. Um, I could go into you. I could set up a tailwind this turn. I wish. Mm, I could actually. Mm, what do I want to do here? I don't want to set off toxic spikes. So I need Fluttermane to KO the Glamora. I wish I had like a, a boosting move here. Hmm. I guess I'll just throw chop the Arcanine. I guess we shall just throw chop the Arcanine slot, right? We'll just acrobatics it down. But we're going to boost our energy up here. Get my Protosynthesis popping. My speed's going to be heightened. And yeah, we're going to use Glamora to finish off. To finish off the what's it called. Or we're going to use our Fluttermane to finish off the Glamora. But Arcanine might swap here. That's the real question. So what move should I go into? Throw Chop or Acrobatics? I think Ting Lu's the back end Pokemon, right? Ting Lu seems most prominent to be the back end Pokemon. Or even Gargonackle. Or even Corvo. I might just throw chop. I mean, throw chop. Yeah, we're just gonna throw chop this thing down. And then I'm just gonna stick with my power gem because I'm choice into it right now. And we're gonna go after you. And yeah, there's the withdrawal of this Pokemon here. I'm gonna power gem down this lovely little Glamora so no toxic is coming out on the field. And Gargonackle is going to come out here. Spiky showed me. How dare you, Spiky showed me. That ain't right. That ain't cool. That's not cool one bit. I might swap Fluttermane this next turn. Actually, no, I gotta get rid of Glamora. I can't deal with the poisons. I simply cannot deal with the poisons. I doubt that uh, Gargonackle does Terrasilize. I really doubt it. But if he does, that's when we'll Acrobatics and we'll kind of get after it. But yeah, Glamora's got to go. Glamora has got to go. Do I Tailwind here? I might Tailwind. I mean, I don't really need speed. He's just rather slow Pokemon. So I'm just going to stick with the Throw Chop. I'm going to go for the Power Gem. We're going to get rid of Glamora, who I think might even swap into Arcanine here. Just to get off the Intimidate, right? But yeah, I definitely want to swap Fluttermane. I definitely want to swap Fluttermane. Let's see what he ends up doing. Hopefully he goes for like a Salt Cure into Fluttermane because we're going to be swapping the next turn. Yeah, there's a swap into Arcanine if I had to guess, right? Or are you going into like a Ting Lu? Let's see. It's going to be Arcanine. So he's going to sacrifice Arcanine for Intimidate. That's not that big of a deal. I'm fine with that. I don't really mind that too much. Speed's not a problem with our uh, booster energy. So we're fine. So out comes the power gem. We get rid of Arcanine. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. What do I do from here? What does Jeans do from here? Goes for Salkir in a, in a Fluttermane, which is totally fine. I'm swapping this Pokemon anyway. So I'll take Salkir damage this turn, and then I'll swap it just so I can get off some stab moves later, right? I don't really, I don't need power gem. The power gem was just there for that Arcanine because I wanted to get rid of that thing. And I'm super surprised that thing got a free focus ash. A little upset on that. So I could swap Arcanine. I really want to swap... Roar Moon here as well, but I think Roar Moon's going to be fine, even with minus one. I feel like swapping in the Great Tusk is going to be our play. Let's see who they go into. Are they going to go back into Glamora? It's definitely a possibility. And if they do, then I'll leave Fluttermane on the field. We'll see. Is it Glamora? Is Glamora coming back out here? It's going to be Corvo. Oh, do I stay with these Power Gems? I could stay with these Power Gems. I could stay with these Power Gems. I could, but I'd rather get a stab move going. I would 100% rather get a stab move going. So I'm going to hard swap into you. I'm going to get my close combat, my headlong rush running. I'm going to get after it that way. Plus, we'll, we'll take Salt Cure off of me. And we'll start slowly chipping up this uh, Gargonacle, who probably has Recover, which is kind of annoying. But by getting out a Pokemon like this, this should be good for us. So Third Chop's going to chunk up a little bit more damage. And Iron Head's going to fly over this slot. That's fine. And Salt Cure is going to come back into this slot. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. So do I headlong rush? I would rather headlong rush than go into anything else, right? It makes the most sense. I could now swap the Roaring Moon if I want to. I could do that now. I mean, Throw Chop, really not going to do anything crazy, and I'd rather get my attack boost back. So yeah, I'm going to swap into you. I'm going to say Iron Head does not come into the Roaring Moon slot, right? 
It could be terrible. And then we just go into a headlong rush and get rid of this Gargi. I'm with it. So we're going to swap to more moon. We'll save it for later. And we'll get after this. So Fluttermane comes out. We might have to swap our what's called too. Oh, and you protect? And you protect your Gargi? Solid little play. Headlong rush comes out here. It gets blocked. And I feel like... I don't know why I have an odd feeling that he's going to swap into Glamora this next turn. He's going to iron defense up. So yeah. Fluttermane getting after that slot all day. I might double down in that slot. Actually, probably not. Flutter, that's Fluttermane's job. We need Fluttermane to get work done on that. We still have our terror too. We still have our terror. Do you still have terror? So I could Terrasalize into straight steel. Probably your best bet, right? And just go into Shadow Ball here. Chip up as much damage as I can. And I'm still gonna go for a headlong rush. If you want to swap into uh Lamora here, that's totally fine. Yeah, there it is. That's fine. I don't mind it too much. I don't mind you getting off the spikiness and stuff, well, stuff like that. But he's gonna get off the toxic spikes. Okay, cool. I don't mind. Again, I don't mind it too much. This is a great match. This is a great match. But I knew the stall Pokemon would be a problem here, match number one. I knew they would be a problem. So I'm gonna steal Terra because I do think Iron Head is coming into this slot. We're gonna take out Glamour with a headlong rush, and then we're just gonna target down headlong rush again next turn. And they're gonna Terrasalize as well. And the what typing is the real question. I'm choice to a Shadow Ball now. I'm choice into a Shadow Ball for the rest of the match. You're gonna go in the straight dragon. Straight dragon, okay. Wow, if I would have went for a fairy move, oh my lord. That could have been wonderful. That could have been amazing. We could have just one tap this thing if we went to a fairy move. We're doing a nice chunk of damage. Do we get the drop? We do not. How long rush is going to KO you? Um What is my play here though? What is my play here, though? This is a real question. Because I need to get rid of this. This, what's it called? This Corviknight. Please don't be Roosh and Corviknight. Because I'm going to double down to this thing. And there's the Iron Head. Great Terror type from us. Yeah, I'm going to double down to Corviknight right here. We are taking out Corviknight. I'm going to double down into this thing. And we're going to get ripping with it. I'm going to Shadow Ball it. And I'm going to also Headlong Rush it. Or Close Combat, one or the other. Or I can Ice Spinner it. Ice Spinner is probably the play. We have to double down into it though. I don't think Corvid protects here. I really don't think Corvid protects. So I'm gonna double down into this slot and we're gonna get after it. I do not think Corvid protects. Yeah, it does not. Cool. The Shadow Ball is flying. Almost KO. And this is exactly why we double down and we're gonna take out you. So now it turns into a nice situation where all we have left is this Gargle Knackle. This is all we have left. And I wonder who he goes after. Probably the Fluttermane. He's probably gonna take out my Fluttermane, which I really don't like. Oh no, he's gonna recover. Okay, so this allows us to get a nice little turn. That's fine. I thought he was gonna take out my uh, Fluttermane with a Soul Cure. Because Soul Cure does double damage when against Steel types, right? So that could have did a nice chunk of damage. So from here, I'm Shadow Ball, and I believe he didn't Terrasalize yet, right? Correct? I believe he didn't. And most of them do have Ghost Typing, so I'm just gonna go for straight headlong rushes. And our opponent just opts to cancel the battle. Solid match there in match number one. We take the win, and we get things started off here with a W. Second match coming at you guys. We're going up against the boy, Klefki. Jingly Keys over here looking to take us out. I love this Pokemon so much. Just recently used it and absolutely killed it with it. It has screens, it has Thunder Wave. It could get some work done. It can really get some work done. How should I go into this? How should I play it? I feel like Chiyu Fluttermane is going to be really solid for us. They have two Steel type Pokemon. We get some work done onto both of them. They also have Roaring Moon and Annihilate. And then I have Corbin. I feel like these two cover a lot. So leading these two, I'm I'm in love with. I'm in love with leading these two. So I'm gonna bring in both of them. I am going to also bring in uh Roar and Moon, because Roar and Moon is just awesome. And then last but not least, do we go Gyarados or do I rock out with Great Tusk again? I kinda like Gyarados here. I do kinda like Gyarados. We have Taunt, we can get some work done with them. I'm with the Gary Gary. Let's go Gyarados. Plus we have Intimidate. Intimidate could do good onto the Roar Moon, especially if Roar Moon is that last Pokemon. Or it could be a problem for us if we pop Defiant for Annihilate. That'll give it plus one. He can start ripping into me. And it'd just be no good. It would just be no good. But that first match, me and our M, our opponent played really, really well. That came down to the wire. I thought they were going to beat me with the stall. But luckily they actually terrestrialized pretty badly with that Corviknight. And we kind of just got after it that way. So they end up going into, is that Chiyu Fluttermane? Where, where's the second Pokemon at? Is I think it's a Chiyu, right? I can't even see it. Is it a Chiyu? No, it's Klefki. Where's Klefki at? I, could, I can't see Klefki. Where's my boy Klefki at? There you are. He's just chilling there. He's behind my Fluttermane. 
So from here, Heat Wave is 100% going to be a play. And I feel like we might just want to try slash you into Steel. And did we Gleam on top of that? No, because that thing's probably like clay and we'll just drop down to that. So I'm just going to Shadow Ball into this slot. A Terras Slice. I'm going to go into my Steel Terra Flutter Main, which I love that Terra type for Flutter Main. I just think it's super, super strong. And we're going to get Rippin'. Because it makes you not very effective against Fairy moves and it neutralizes you up against the Ghost Threat. So it's just super powerful. It's just a really good Terra type. So I Terras Slice you. How's this one going to play out? Are you going to Terras Slice as well? You better not go into steel type. That'd be a problem. That'd be a problem. Probably straight fairy, right? I could see that most likely happening. And yeah, my Chiyu might not be able to soak this. I mean, we have assault vest, but we'll see how this one plays out here. Late screen is going to come out here, so late screen definitely beneficial for them. Big time for them. And my shadow ball is going to come out here first, which is pretty good. The shadow ball is probably going to half HP this thing. Or get a crit and take out. We like that. We like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That threw me off. I was not expecting that, but yo. I'll take that all day. Waste out Terra and get rid of a Flutter main. That's big time play. Heat wave coming in hot here. Big time damage on the Klefki. Big time damage. We can't see. Like, I cannot see Klefki. Oh, he's up higher. I, I thought he would be, like, down lower. I thought Klefki would be down lower on the ground. He's floating pretty high, right? Klefki's floating pretty high. I expected him to be down low. There he is. I've probably seen him the whole time. You guys probably seen him like, yo, jeans. Like, come on. He's right there. But I could stick it to a heat wave, which is probably more so my play. I invest it. But yeah, heat wave is definitely my play. And from here, I'm just going to rip it to a shadow ball into this slot. I'm choice. I'm choice. Maybe I should have swapped my flutter main. But he's going to end up going for a thunder wave, which misses. Oh my god. We like this. I'm liking this a lot. Shadow ball is going to fly here. Give me that special defense drop. RNG is hot right now, so give it to me. I'll take it. We do not get it, but Heat Wave's coming in here. We'll take the burn. Give me the burn. Burn time. It's burn time. I think it's burn time. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. No burn. No burn. Kind of hurts. And this thing's going to D dance. Oh, whoa there, partner. Oh, the phone. Hold the phone. D dance out and about. D dance is out and about. Do I swap Flutter Mane? Maybe. It really depends who they bring out here. It really depends who they bring out here. It's going to be Corbinite. He's probably going to thrash lies. And I'm going to stay in here with Chiyu, and I might hard swap into Gyarados here. Even though I'm going to get Mirror Armored, I would love to get this minus one onto that. What's it called? Onto that Roaring Moon. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I want to swap my Flutter Main, change my moves up a little bit. And we're going to get after this one. Because I do think Corviknight is going to thrash lies. I don't mind taking a minus one. I do not mind. I might just hard swap characters again just to bring it back out onto this Roaring Moon. Not dealing with it. Acrobat's going to fly here. And we soak. Thanks to that minus one. Heat Wave now flies. Who dodged it? Anybody but the Corvo. I said anybody but the Corvo. I guess my RNG is out for the count. So, he's going to end up bulking up here. I really need that. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I swap to you? Into Fluttermane now? Yes. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe back into like my Roar Moon because I do get the speed boost on this thing. Could be great for us. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to save my Chiyu. I think we're going to need a Chiyu. And ah, uh, Do I Thunder Wave you? I might just Thunder Wave you. You can't mirror armor that, right? I'm just going to go for the Thunder Wave in this thing because Bulk Up's looking real scary. I'm going to save my Chiyu. We might need a Chiyu for this Corbin Knight. I'm going to save it. War Moon's going to come out here, who should be able to soak up a shot. And then be able to get rid of the War Moon. So yeah, we're doing that all day. D-Dance coming out here. Oh no. Yo, chill. Chill. We don't want out speed now. We don't want out speed, which is a little bit of an issue. Thunder Wave comes out here. And we'll paralyze you. We'll slow you down. We'll put a little bit of paralyze on you. And hopefully we can waste out a turn. Which will be big time. And there it is. Oh, baby. We like that. We like that. We like that. And now, I think I just Terra. Oh, no, I can't Terra. I think I just Acrobatics and try to rip up as much damage as I can with you. Double down into the slot. Mm. <laughs> Great protect by him. And we're going to hope that we get another Paralyze if we cancel this out. We're going to hope. We're going to hope. Oh, dude, I could have ripped into Corviknight. Corviknight should be gone, man. That hurts them, but that Corvette's still alive. 
Let's so we would just hit it with Heat Wave. Okay, cool. This actually neutralizes his turn. And yeah, I'm gonna stay double down into that slot. I'm gonna stay double down. We still have all of our Pokemon, which is awesome. But still, this is just, just looking a little tough because they're just bulking up and stuff. Acrobatics flies and that KOs me? Whew. Ouch. Ouch. And why do I always forget that they can't Terra? I always forget. The Waterfall, we were just using it for the heck of it. And Brave Bird's gonna come out here. And I guess we'll just go into Fluttermane here. So my play here is just gonna go into Fluttermane and try to get rid of the... Try to get rid of the Roaring Moon. So I think play might be... I can't protect him. I had to paralyze this thing. I mean, you can't terrestrialize, so I'm just gonna choice into a... Uh, I'm legit just gonna choice to a Dazzling Gleam because if I can get rid of War Moon, it's game set match. It is game set match. And I guess I'll try to paralyze just in case we don't KO it. But if I can get rid of it, it's game set match for us. It is legit we win this game if we get rid of it. So he goes for the protect. Another great protect from War Moon. I just, I just need to KO it. I just need to KO it. Can we get another paralyze turn? Can we do it again? That'd be unreal. Three in a row. That'd be beautiful. Actually, it would be not three in a row because it just brave burned me. And it goes for a tailwind. Like, you already have speed on me. You already have speed. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about speed, so I don't mind that turn. We're just going to go for a gleam. I just need my boy to be able to eat up. And again, we're going to Thunder Wave just in case. We're going to Thunder Wave just in case. Search Shop comes out here. No. No. That's not cool. That's not cool. That ain't right. That's not cool. They still have speed on me, but we have to paralyze this thing. We land a Thunder Wave. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. This thing de-danced up. He's plus two on speed. It's ripping into me. I'm dead. This is pretty much match. This is pretty much match. That really hurts you. That thing is just absolutely tearing through me. It's tearing through me. Maybe I should have set up a Tailwind there. Mm, I don't know. Litchfiend's finally gone. All we have is my Chiyu left, and he outspeeds me, right? Even with the Paralyze. He's plus two on speed. He has his tail went up. It's game set match. We just gotta hope for a Paralyze, right? It's the only way. We gotta go into a Heat Wave, and Heat Wave wouldn't even kill the Roaring Moon at that point, right? And he doesn't even get Paralyzed. So there it is. A great comeback from our opponent. They got the Bulk Ups up. They got the Dragon Dances up. I knew that one was gonna be tough, and that's game. One on one for today's video. Let's hop into a third. Look for that winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys. That second match, our RNG was phenomenal, except for the time that we needed. We needed to land that heat wave on the Corviknight. I know Light Screen was up, but I still feel like it would have KO'd. It's stab, it's super effective from a Chiyu. Right? Chiyu hits like a truck. It's like an absolute truck. So I feel like it definitely would have KO'd that Corviknight. Plus, Corviknight's special defense is eh. It's not as good as its uh, physical defense, so. I feel like that would have KO'd and we would have won the match, but still, props to our opponent making that comeback with the bulk up and the Dragon Dance Salamancer. Not Salamancer, War Moon, but you got you guys understand. But third and final match, going up against a really strong team. I mean, we both have Gyarados, we both have Chiyu, Fluttermane, and Amoongus, but they got Baxcalibur and Tingaloo. Baxcalibur, great little Pokemon, but who should I lead and how should I get after this? Hmm, I'm trying to think of who they're going to lead. Possibly Tingaloo. I mean, that's why I kind of like Gyarados here. Gyarados' attack's really not that bad, right? Attacks boost it to 163. I mean, it's a pretty bulky Gyarados, but I kind of want to go into it. We could taunt. We kind of get get worked on that way. So I'm gonna go Gyarados. Plus, I have a few physical attackers. So Gary to Gyarados is gonna be our lead. I am going to also lead. Hmm, I don't want to lead here. I mean, I'm scared of the Fluttermane, so I might bring my own Fluttermane. I might bring my own Fluttermane. Yeah, I'm gonna go Flutz. I'm gonna go Fluttermane. I'm gonna bring Chiyu as a back end Pokemon and Worm Moon here as well. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's do this. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number three and grab ourselves a winning record. That's really why I wanted to win that last match. That last match would have guaranteed ourselves a winning record. And we could have just messed around, had some fun this during final battle. But now, we mean business. We mean business. We're looking for this win. Hopefully, we can grab it. We're playing up against some good opponents. Our last opponent, I think, was like top 600. And our first game was like 861. I remember the first opponent more than the second opponent. But we go for the exact same lead. I love it. I love it. I love it. Great minds think alike. And I think I might just terrestrialize my Fluttermane choice into a Shadow Ball. Probably my best bet, right? And what do you got? Boost energy here? Popping that boost energy? Special attacks would be like, yeah, I'm definitely terrestrializing my Fluttermane. And 
I might just Thunder Wave this boy right here. I'm going to Thunder Wave you, and I'm going to do this. I could go into a Power Gem, but I really like Shadow Ball more so than anything. Because we get the stab damage, and the stab damage is just awesome. It's just amazing. So I'm going to Thunder Wave the Gary to Gary this. <clears throat> and I guess we'll just go from there. So I'm Terrasizing my Floods. I love Steel Type. Terra, Flutter Man. I think we did it in the past two battles. The same is going to same is gonna come here for the uh, third battle. Still, Terra Flutterman is just ridiculously good, so we're gonna rock with it. And they're gonna also Terrasize. Don't tell me they're Steel Terra too. Do not tell me we just we're just doing the same thing here. Don't tell me. Okay, straight fairy, cool. I can deal with that. That's why I like the Steel Terra. The straight fairy from the Floods. I mean, Flutterman's gonna still be able to do a good chunk of damage. Shadow Ball is gonna fly here. I'm doing half damage. I really like that half damage. And Shadow Ball coming after me as well. Great, great mind singing life. Just, just different terrors. It's good to know that we outspeed. It's actually big time that we outspeed. You're gonna taunt my Gary? You taunt my Gary? Stop with that. Knock it off. That ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. That ain't cool at all. And watch this. Their Fluttermane is gonna protect here, so I'm just gonna swap my Gyarados. And I'm gonna go after their Gyarados because I'm almost certain they're Fluttermane swaps. Unless he's a huge choice spec as well. Are you choice spec as well? Because if you are, that is the biggest problem we're gonna have. I mean, then we just boost our energy speed. You know what? I'm gonna. S <sighs> Because I don't want to protect and have him KO my Fluttermane, right? Yeah, I'm going to go after Gyarados here. I'm going to say their Fluttermane protects. I'm going to say that that Fluttermane right there puts up a nice big shield and protects. But I feel like it might be choice considering how much damage it did to me, right? Like, I did the same amount of damage. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, jeans. I'm the man. I'm the man. Great call by me. Great call by me. Reading the protect all day. We're going to drop a Shadow Ball in the Gary slot. And... Oh, What's up with the free sashes today? I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over the free focus sashes. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. Same thing happened with Arcanine, and then they eat their berry. Now it gets off a thunder wave onto you. I I feel you. I feel you. But I do not believe that what's called can KO me. You should be dead, Gyarados. This is just absurd. This is just absurd. Do I go into f Gyarados here? Or do I stay with him with the Chi? Is Chi is not eating a fairy move. That's his problem. It's a big time problem. You're not out speeding that. You're not eating a fairy move. So you were just a waste of space here. I gotta swap back into the Gyarados here. And I gotta hope that we can get rid of this, uh, this Flutter main. That's a problem, because he's just going to take me out here. I'm going to need my Acrobatics boy to take out. To take out that Fluttermane. That's what we're going to need. I'm going to keep my Chi, because again, if it Dazzling Gleam comes out here, you are not soaking it up. No shot. We have to go for the Moon Blast here. I'm not protecting, so that's actually fine. I'm cool with that. I keep my Chi. And Fluttermane, can you outspeed this character still? That'd be awesome. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, you opt to double down that slot. I'm, that's, I'll take that swap all day. So now we get rid of Fluttermane. See you later, Alligator. And that's a big time turn from us. I'll take that all day. Gyarados is minus two. I can now attack him if I want to. I can now Thunder Wave him. But he does outspeed me. So he might end up taunting me again. But he's minus two on attack. So I might just I might just go Guns Blazing on this left slot. Let's see what they end up bringing in here. I could swap back into Chiyu. Back to Calibre going to come out of here. A little iffy, don't really like that. I might just double down and Baxcalibur here. Because, again, I'm not too worried about Gyarados right now. Actually, I'll try to Thunder Wave. Mm, he's going to taunt me. You are going to taunt me. So, I'm just going to get after this thing. I'm just going to get after Baxcalibur. We're twist into this lovely little Shadow Ball. I wish we would have went into a Fairy move. But it'd be like that. We should have read the Terra. It's obviously the Flutter Maze we're going to Thrasize. There's a Withdrawal into the Gyarados, who's going to be your final Pokemon. It's going to be Ting Lu, and that's a great, great, great swapping. It's a great, lovely swapping for our opponent. Blade Brush is going to come out here. That's going to KO me. But now he does take double damage, right? He does take double damage, but still. We're not going to do that much damage to this thing. Waterfall. It's 
it's not very effective. He's just gonna be able to save pretty well. Actually, that did it. That did a good chunk. A lot more than I thought it would. So now I get to bring out Chiyu, or I can bring out you. I mean, Chiyu can cancel everything out, but I kind of just like going into you. Boost energy up. Oh yeah, I'm about it. We'll waterfall into the Ting Lu slot. Um, we should be able to just acrobatics KO or even throw chop KO in the back. See, mm. ice moves are scary though. Ice moves do be scary. Hmm. Hmm. Gonna waterfall this thing and. What does more damage, acrobatics or throw chop? Throw chop is stab. Acrobatics is not, but it, acrobatics is double damage. I don't know what massive is. I think it's double damage, right? But this is also 1.5, so this would be 120. And if this is double, this would be 110. So throw chop, probably your best move, right? Yeah. Probably your best move. So Baxi goes for protect. I swear, if you land a Fisher on me, I'm done. Calling it. We're now, I'm never playing this game again. <laughs> Swapping into Garrus might be the play, to be honest. I might I might read that. The waterfall's in the fire. Can we get a flinch? Maybe a little waterfall 10% flinch chance? Nope, we got, he lands a rock slide. Gary to Garrus eats up. And now the problem here would be if you swap into Gary to Garrus. Would it definitely be a problem? Which is definitely a possibility here, but I'm just gonna go out after this. And I think they would, right? Two physical attackers on the field. I would be swapping into Gary to Garrus all day. I would definitely be doing that. It's a solid match. I'm just hoping they don't have Ice Shard, right? Ice Shard on a... Oh no, what's it called? It's a problem. On the back scabber, which he might have, to be honest. I mean, I understand. Yep, there's the Ice Shard. Can we soak that? We do. That's big time soaks. That's big time soaks. But yeah, I understand to protect because he was taking double damage. And oh, back scabber's able to soak. Waterfall flying through here. Some big damage. We got speed on this guy, and Rock Slide's gonna fly here. It's gonna double KO pretty much, right? But now we're sitting in a position where Heat Wave can KO both. Heat Wave can KO both. And he's forced to Ice Shard here. So I can protect and just Heat Wave, right? Probably my best bet. Protect Heat Wave. Hope RNG doesn't screw me over. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. I am with it. So saving the Chiyu is always a good play. It's always a good play. Especially because like when we had the Chiyu out on the field, we were like, we're getting no value out of this. If it hits me with one fairy move, I am dead. It outspeeds me. We just, we just need to swap it. So letting Gyarados tank up the shots, and it actually worked out perfectly for us. But even if Gyarados would have just died, it would have been better to have the Chiyu rather than the Gyarados, especially in this format. So great calls from me. So I think an opponent's thinking long and hard here. Very, very hard. But if it doesn't go into an ice shard, Heat Wave's gonna KO it. So his best bet could just be maybe protecting. I don't know what his best bet is. If I protect, Max Caliber ends up going for the protect. And Heat Wave, can you just KO the Ting Lu for me? Get a little bit of Ting Lu death here. Cool. So we take out the Ting Lu. Um. That's actually a really good protect from Max Caliber because now he can KO my Roaring Moon. And now out comes Gary to Gyarados. And I feel like I have to just go into like a Psychic or a Dark Pulse, right? Into that. Hmm. This is tough because Gyarados protects here. But yeah, I'm going to go into a Dark Pulse here. Now I'm going to go for Double Protect because we know Ice Shard's coming out here. We know that Ice Shard's coming out here, so War Moon is pretty much dead, right? So Double Protect doesn't work. He's Ice Sharding me down anyway. And Garrus protects. No way. That was the one thing I didn't want happening. The one thing I didn't want happening. The one thing I didn't want happening there was that. Was that. Because the thing is, if I would have went after Bax Caliber and he would have waterfalled me, I would have died. But now we're sitting here in a tough circumstance where, as I feel, Heat Wave is our play, right? I mean, Glaive Rush can come out here and KO us. Ah, what do I do? I guess I'll go for Heat Wave. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. Help me out a little bit. Help me out. 
Help me out. Can you soak? Yeah, no shot. Hmm. Yeah, if I would have Dark Pulse that, that would have KO'd the Gyarados. But then I feel like he just Glaive Rushes and KOs me, right? And then Ice Shard if I'm down low enough. That was a tough third and final match. But great matches all around. We go one and two. It always stings a little bit when you lose close battles like that. Match number, what was it, two and three did we lose? Or did we lose one and three? I totally forget. I honestly totally forget. But we lost two matches today. And they were this close. They were down to the wire this close. Could have went either way. But our opponents just made some great calls. Like I said, I'm high top 1000s in the match team right now. So we're playing up against some top tier opponents who really know what they're doing. Great protects from our opponents. Great plays. Great bulk ups all around. They were just uh, countering us and coming down to the wire. But still, three great matches. They went either way. Hopefully, it was still good content for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.